This video introduces the new features for ANSYS Mechanical 2021 R1. As shown in this example, the Construction Geometry feature now enables you to sketch and create line bodies using the new Line option. The feature also provides an option to import and overlay a reference image on your model so that you can accurately sketch lines on and around your model. This new feature also supports API for scripting. Cable type line bodies now use higher order elements by default. Specifically, the program controlled element order setting for cables is the quadratic cable 280 element rather than the linear link 180 element. ANSYS documentation has a new Workbench Technology Showcase Guidebook that presents a collection of real-world problems that include project and input files. Each example includes a solved project for you to use in tandem while studying the examples. You can now import coordinate system data points from an external data system onto the elements of your model in the form of element orientations. Included is the new mapping option, Quaternion, that interpolates the orientations in the Quaternion space rather than directly on the Euler angles. There are new geometry and part object options available to freeze and unfreeze the mesh of all geometry parts or selected parts of your model. The Material View pane now enables you to compare materials. The new Solution History option for the Solution Output property of the Solution Information object enables you to display solution performance and result data via the worksheet using the Solution Tracking and Result Tracking tabs. The Solution Tracking tab displays solution times, the computational resources used, and the number of nodes and elements for each solution. The Result Tracking tab displays the results minimum and maximum values and the number of nodes and elements for each solution. The Mechanical Scripting pane has a new recording option that enables you to generate or record APIs based on the actions you make in the application. And a new debugging tool. This feature includes tools such as breakpoints, tooltips about variables and script content, a watch window to view expressions, and a feature to debug active expressions. You can now export super elements that are generated by a solved condensed part object. And using the new bottom-up substructuring approach, these super elements can then be imported into a different mechanical session using imported condensed part. Once imported, you can generate nodal named selections for each interface that can then be used to define connections and or boundary conditions. Imported super elements can then be connected to the rest of the model before performing use pass for the analysis. Using coupled field harmonic and coupled field modal analyses, Mechanical now supports piezoelectric coupling between electric and structural physics. Analyses are also supported in engineering data with the new anisotropic elasticity, anisotropic relative permittivity, and piezoelectric matrix material properties, as well as support for electric capacitance for contact conditions. Electric charge voltage, and voltage ground loading conditions, as well as the new voltage coupling boundary condition. Probe results for charge reaction and impedance. For LSDyna analyses, a new solver version property is available. The default version is 11.2. As illustrated here, you can now modify a system-generated configuration file to make additional solver versions available in the solver version property. 
The solver input file is written using the new millimeter millisecond kilogram unit system, which features millisecond as the time unit, gigapascal as the pressure unit, and kilonewton as the force unit. The results are displayed in the GUI defined unit system. There's a new workflow for short fiber composites that enables you to predict the thermomechanical behavior of parts made of short fiber reinforced composites. This workflow combines Material Designer for the material characterization, the new injection molding data system in Workbench that imports injection molding simulation results, and Mechanical for the setup of the finite element model. ANSYS Motion enables you to model multi-body dynamic systems with rigid and flexible components, contacts, joints, and springs. A drivetrain toolkit helps to automate the creation of gear assemblies. A Lynx toolkit automates the creation of repeated systems like chains, tracks, and belts. This is just a portion of the updates in Release 2021-R1. See the application release notes for a complete list. Links are available under the Show More option.